but for Maui, it's not time to flip-flop. Okay, we survived to map three. If it was going to end for Vitality, it was going to end on map two. I think they only get stronger now. It will be the uh, knife round to decide who starts where. Let's have a look at the knives, shall we? Well, I put the jeans on my Instagram story, so you can find them there. There you go. Follow Launders on... Uh, Launders Mighty on Instagram. But yes, my jeans are in bags, so not really... Because you said bag. you ripped the crotch. Is that private information? No, no, I always rip the crotch <laughs> of my jeans because I take strides and I like to do lunges in coffee shops. <laughs> it's a weird hobby. Because I'm chatting to the staff, you know, so... Oh, I yeah. just, I don't know, something just makes me want to do lunges. I hate talking to people who are lunging, so it makes me feel uncomfortable. What if they're lunging with a hole in their jeans? Even more so, then. Fun plus Phoenix making inroads towards the A bomb site. There is a three, maybe four-man rotation from Vitality because Shox was here alone. Not the case anymore, though. All Kevlar for Vitality looking to frag out in this pistol run. And that's a great way to start things off. Shox won't drop the bomb carrier, but Masuta will do even better than that. Zen being deleted also. This could be a good start to the uh, CT side for Vitality. And indeed, it will be with Apex finishing off the proceedings. You picked uh, FBX to win the game? I did, yes. How are you feeling for Vertigo? Well, I think it's wide open. I think it's wide open. Okay. I looked at the stats from HLTV. Yeah. I think we have two recorded games for Vitality. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's, I want to say it was 10 for FPX. Yeah. Yeah, and they had 50, per no, sorry, 67%. Oh, sorry, three maps. Three maps for Fun Plus Phoenix, 67%, which mm -hmm. basically, I mean, who cares what the result is? Three, three maps and two maps. The sample size is tiny. It's tiny. Can't really take anything away from that. Could be two brand new teams here. Maybe it could come down to Kyojin again. Only one positive map KD uh, for Vitality. Not to sound dramatic, in the history of him being on the team. I think we're coming up on like 10 maps or something like that now. So still not super comfortable. But on the bright side, the one map was here at Flashpoint. So at least growing more and more comfortable. A spicy deciding map. It is. I'm really invested into our unicorn points. I don't I don't want to lose, man. I mean, I'm unlikely to do that, but you know, when I spend, I want to secure. Vitality will look to do that on the A bomb side. The bomb's been dropped and Cyber and Apex will hold position. Multiple headshots, mostly on the ramp. Farley now. Question of damage. Patiently trying to get that headshot as he does with the scout. Stiko will at least help clean up. Vitality will take more aggressive positions as far as the bomb is concerned, but I think the focus for Stiko may be even just trying to squeeze out one more kill. Mm -hmm. What sticker is that on his deagle? I actually wondered. Was it is it a snack sticker or is it a Stiko sticker? Or I think it's a Stiko sticker. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Don't recognize that one. Sometimes they can look blurry on weapons. It kind of looks like the old Envious. I don't know. I mean, sure. I mean, if I was a player, I would just it would just be my sticker on every gun, so I wouldn't be using other people's stickers. Sticker may be opting for a save here. He has full armor and a famas. Yeah. Will he get found? No. Can't imagine it on this. He's going. He's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. I used to walk around buildings like this when I worked in commercial real estate. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Just to you know advise on best way to get value depending on the layout what you're doing and so on marble countertops over here put your toilets over here so you've got the most working space over here blah 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 i can picture you in a hard hat <laughs> it's not in a hard hat it's just like it's balancing on the top of my head because i've got <laughs> a big head so I, I always hated that part of it but always fun doing that stuff the smokes counter here down the ramp. Parts to try to take him, deny pressure, just bait out grenades if possible. Ooh, that's Nico coming up through the sandbags with a flash to assist as well. And Zywoo can only find one with the Deagle, which means the rotations are going to be a bit slow, a bit uncomfortable. But Masuda, he does sneak around the corner. This is the most important part for him. Waiting, I think maybe him waiting for a flash as well to try to encroach on the A ramp. But the crunch comes in, trades go back and forth, and suddenly, in the blink of an eye, it is a 1v2 for Shocks, but he can get the first kill quickly, and that Dink was kind of fraudulent. Only does 36 damage through the metal bar. 
He has Kevlar and Farley does it, and that I think is the big difference maker here. But shots now down to nine oh. HP will be finished off by Farley. I think um, Vitality outstayed the welcome of the Desert Eagle there on the ramp. I don't know how much opportunity there was to fall away. They had to die on the sword there, that second player, but that was a big issue. I thought that was actually benefited shocks that he his opponent might have called dinked. Because it looked like it could have just been a dink for like 90 damage or full damage, but it hit him through the metal. It didn't do that much. And then Farley came up and ripped him up. It's like, what the hell? Is, is he dinked or not? Well, game on for Fun Plus Phoenix. We can see the value in that saved Famas. Pop flashing Steco through the smoke and then following up with the pistols. Again, some patient shots with the uh, P250. Fire it too fast and it goes inaccurate. Oh. Here, respect, you can go a long way. Down goes Zaiwu. Seems there'll be more problems as the numbers are abused from Fun Plus Phoenix. Deleting Apex, not even committing to this. There's no rush for them. They've got a minute 30 on the clock. They're five versus three. They have utility. They can do a lot of what, pretty much whatever they want. Yeah, the time is big, but the rotations are so slow on this map. Now, think that, you know, the player advantage is, is enormous, but because everyone is so low, I, for some reason, feel like this could actually... I feel the same way. Yeah, I, I, though the CTs are, are just gambling, it looks like, towards B, so maybe they're maybe they're overthinking I, it. I think with the utility, they have five in, uh, incendiaries. Yeah, One plus Phoenix. It's it's all going to be. I think the nature of this Always map. Sandbags twice. Again, you don't have the. It's not as horizontal as other maps, especially towards this A bomb site. So, I think that will help them hold area control with the mollies they have. And um, I think Vitality. They're enforced by territory. They can do this again if they keep the uh, money together. So we'll see what they opt for. They are moving away from the B bomb site. So we'll see if it's for hiding or. That's they have more sinister intentions. So that's why it's always good to pause in the in these moments, even when you have a, a player advantage. If you think the rotations are close enough, it always benefits you to pause because if they push you all the way through, you get you punish the rotations, you punish the flash flanks, and you also open up the option that they might rotate out and gamble to the other side, just like we saw. So, and if they don't rotate at all, then it's still the same round and if you went fast. So a lot of the times it is very, just a smart idea just to sit and wait and see what they do because your odds don't change very much from that position and sometimes only get greater. Uh, Vitality save three again. So it's kind of interesting because they've won, lost a couple of rounds with three three saves. And they'll be able to recycle these guns. The kills right now obviously favoring Fun Plus Phoenix on the A ramp in a couple of very close situations. And someone called these trades random, but if you look at a player like Leash, for example, on the A-Ramp on T-Side, you'll see how it's not that random. It, you have to be able to line up certain spams to deny pressure because that's the nature of the map. It looks messy, but you get kills through these smokes by spamming certain positions and zoning your opponents and conditioning them to play certain spots and then spamming them in those positions. And if you're, by design. If you're very good, yeah, you can, you can get those kills a number of times. Area control. Avoiding the molly, but they can't avoid giving sound cues, of course. They can be sprayed through here as well. But at some point, they're going to have to get close around that corner. And that's the that's where Vitality could be at play. Looking to re-aggress, but FX have been patient. Here comes the charge. Zaiwu dying on his sword to create some space, and we've got a three versus three. Apex now looking to fall back, but he'll continue to be a nuisance until he's eliminated by Zen. Deep mollies on the short side now as Kyojin waits on the site itself. Got shocks being proactive of 35 HP that may be limited what he can do. Kyojin needs to be offered that helmet, uh, that helmet, that headshot. But FPX, no, that's a, that's a nice angle for him to re-aggress at a deagle. They move away from it. Well, they had a little, they didn't have an advantage, but they had an even situation at least. And then Apex gave up the pressure to go for another peak. And Shox is here on a timely flank. And he has to work hard for that kill, but Zen has no cover, and he's like in between switching grenades. So now it's a two-on-two -two again. Kyojin looks for a timing. Player on his right. Will he try to dive the plant? He'll get damage in. He doesn't get the kill. Kind of trying to control for the deagle spam, but his teammate is far enough away anyways. Yeah, unfortunately for Kyojin, he's shooting the backpack, which is uh, on the back of the of the player model doesn't there, exist, yeah. which is not a hitbox at all. Mm. All the stuff that's hanging, it's just it's purely the body. Like the CTs have got backpacks and so on. 
you have to ignore those. Shox does not have a diffuse kit. Maybe he gets a rifle out of this. Does he want to lucky. this or? Honestly, if he just throws a smoke down, they might freak out, but all right. Yeah, I guess they'll just go for the tap. Or, oh, he's trying to hurt them before they, the bomb explodes. Tico's dead. No? Oh, he's, he's good in the corner. Wait, I thought he did more damage than that from there. Apparently not. Oh. I thought we were going to have to see him jump off the building or something. Great value play. Not going the way that Shox might have liked. I mean, even if he doesn't want to play MP9, I think he has some Kevlar, right? He so Yeah. Different strokes for different folks. He leaves Spawn with $400 in the bank, not picking up a Diffuse Kit, which is interesting because there isn't a Diffuse Kit on the team, and right now he's the only person who can buy one. So we'll see if that has a part to play in this round. Vitality avoiding the initial sprays we saw earlier on. All the usual smokes up towards the A ramp from the T perspective. Limits where Vitality can stand. Kyojin very committed here and Stiko's ready for it. Oh, there could be trouble on the B bomb site. Oh. Shox has to stay alive here. That HE grenade will not be the end of him. Frags continue. Zen, they still oh, it's not ready it. for Zaiwu. They but look at the kill feed there. Yeah, they knew he was there. He just didn't, yeah, he didn't pay attention. That, as I was still right there at Sandbags, couldn't have gone back to the site. And also, it was his teammate that he got the kill on. Oh, this is not a not a fun round to look back on. Of course, great so far from FPX overall. But, you know, this close trade from Shox, he's still alive. Teammate in the back, so it won't serve as much of a bait. I think they might clear him still, yeah. Well, there's a trade frag and a bomb, which means the two rotations, uh, the second man rotating is coming. Stiko with 20 HP. Oh, a bit less now. Trying to get ahead of the uh, expectation, but Masuta will deny him. What a brave move. That was just a, a series of weird interactions. Really bad spray from both sides uh, over on B. Shocks and Farley really just trying to uh, get, kind of disengage while also putting some bullets down range and uh, then the interaction on the A side as well. But yeah, that's the nature of the map sometimes too. Yeah. No, uh, no ops here for either side. I don't think they had the option either, though. Change in approach now to the early rounds from FPX. So I still have some presence towards A. So we eat some of the Molotov. That's hurt by Maiden. There, is, there are some shenanigans. Kyojin being peaked in the meantime. So there's presence from FPX all across the map, but you can see that there's a big focus from the CTs on both the bomb sites. And we've got Farley creeping out, and um, Zen's a bit too far behind him to even try and trade frag that. Grenade will force Masuta from the angle. Now, how do you, uh, Vitality respond to all of this? Because there's action everywhere. Masuta pops out from B, and now the push is on. Shocks will start off well, though. Emmy's got the bomb. He has to be careful. But the frags are all going the way of Vitality for the most part. Crouch peak from Shocks is good enough. Vitality may just stabilize here on their CT side. Such a high percentage of raw duels coming out. Not too many refrag opportunities, just 50-50s all across the map. I think, you know, if you're FPX, it makes sense. You want these. And if you're Vitality, I think you're just lucky to have such good players to win them. But overall, I feel like there's a lot of opportunities for FPX to get back into these rounds. But Vitality are edging out more and more duels. Masuda had his best map on record on uh, Vitality versus Astralis on this map a few months ago. So he may be instrumental in this series, or in this map, rather. Eight to four. Very early here on Vertigo, but he is leading the kill feed. The scoreboard. And he was a champ over on Dust 2 as well. Super strong series overall. And here he could farm 580R if he's good enough. <coughs> Doesn't seem so on this occasion. Shockster will hold the area down. He's got some port Molotovs from his teammates as well. FPX will uh, head elsewhere. Four pistols on deck. Preemptive utility from Vitality. Looking and willing to duel at range. We have a double peek from them. Look at a three-man swing here. I like the attempt. 
Once it seems it'll go the way of Zywoo. Okay. Getting some kills on the board. Listen, we'll, we'll, we'll remember that when he gets 15 kills and say half of them were eco frags. Yeah. I, I don't think, even though he's had some bad maps this year, which they stand out like sore thumbs, even though overall his rating has been very good. Uh, I don't think he's had two bad maps in a row. So I don't think he's had a whole series of bad maps. Just the odd, you know, random low kill game for some reason. So I guess that was the that was the last map, but they still won, which is obviously more important. I have my own question about Zaiwoo and what his problem is with Inferno, but wow, this is crazy! He's flying oh, right. down, he had the cape on for that. He really did. That is a great way to start things off. Avoids a flashbang and made a ton of points. Zaiwoo looking for his third kill, so close. Oh my God. I don't know how far he made that one happen. Crazy. It's actually doable for FPX 2 versus 3. We have a very proactive CT team, though. Things go from bad to worse. Masuta delivering a multi-frag. 11 for 5 now. Vitality with four rounds in a row on their CT side of Vertigo. They've put the FPX economy in the bin once again. Yeah, Zywoo had his cape on and rollerblades. Flew down there. Like, how, how'd he find this timing? Emmy was thinking, I'm way ahead. Emmy thought he was good. He was going to kill a guy coming down the ramp. Maybe the opera on Crane Peak. He was about to do something huge for the team. Meanwhile, uh, Zywoo had other plans. And a touch more awareness. Deagles here for most of the players on FPX as they spread the map. And again, this might be a bit of a farm. Yeah, these rounds are looking pretty dry, these uh, pistol de d pistol Kevlar rounds. They look, more, they look more winnable from a CT perspective. Wow. Double grenades to soften up the targets. No head armor, though. Their heads will pop like grapes to any gun. Lots of area control from Vitality. Those easy pieces of utility. And then it's just warm-up practice, essentially. And then there were three. And they're warming up Zywoo as well, which is not what you want to do. Suddenly he is uh, 12 for four. A lot of eco frags in that. Oh yeah, so many. So many. But it's like first said, okay? He said, if if I don't get the... Why do you go for eco frags for? He said, if I don't get the eco frags, my team will lose the round. So... Maybe that's the same. But him and Masuda are tanks. Yeah, always always comfortable with the rifle. Here they don't upgrade purely because they didn't lose any guns. So we don't know if the op is ever going to come out. Not that you need it. I think it's a very nice map to hop on, though, CT side. Yeah, there are some juicy angles. Have a look at Vitality. Complete control of mid, and they're going to just keep on going. Masuta already above the ladder. Zen, though, makes no assumptions. Farley's looking for it. Is this a false sense of security? Oh, wow. oh, my God. He's a sharpshooter, man, an assassin, Masuda. Well, there we go. Now, I suppose that would benefit the FPX team. They know what they allowed Vitality to take, and they will punish them for it. Now things start to turn around. Zywoo getting deleted. Those are the big fraggers at the present, but Apex now will pick up the slack. A two-man spray down for him. A great response. Vitality extremely aggressive in this round. These kills can barely be analyzed. The amount of consistent, aggressive pushes that are coming out. But it's almost always the right move for Vitality to answer back. A couple of very key trades. Zen has been great. Madden was great to take out Zaiwu on a on a you know unfavorable angle. And Shox's duel could mean the world. Steekle will win this one. Lurking a lot here on T side. Apex moves in the generator. Bomb comes up first. And Steekle thinks he's gonna catch a timing, but he's incorrect about this. And now the round changes completely. Zen is a mile away from where Stiko was. Yeah, they tried to slow down there, but Stiko wanted to put the nades down before Apex got in the sight. They didn't know where he was. He's got an HE for the for the bomb, but, I mean, surely Zen has odds here. There's not going to be an easy way for Apex to just get some clean headshot. He's got to find the timing and take some kind of push. Oh, he saw a shoulder. I think Zen's realized as well, but he has yeah. committed a bomb plant before it's Apex could just charge him. He's holding the gun out, and now Apex can dance. Five seconds, he has to plant the bomb or frag Apex, and then he goes. Zen now being careful, he has half a chance. They really needed that uh, round, and he does deliver. I, I think Apex just played that incorrectly because he can do either play. He could rush the plant for the five seconds uh, or, you know, not peek at all. But, I mean, in that situation, 
he pushed out and then waited. So he didn't really take a favorable position when he pushed out to give himself room for that like e easy headshot. I think he was, you know, ramming the plant there. As you mentioned, no time to fake it would have made the most sense for him considering his HP. Uh, his response earlier on was very impressive. The two kills on the ramp to keep it competitive. AWP spotted towards the B bomb site. This boost was promising or looks promising at least. That HE grenade though, almost not quite. Huge fight across the map from round to round. Yeah, that was a big, big, big round from Apex apart from, you know, losing the 1v1. Uh, honestly, FPX got so many key engagements, individual duels, Zen refracking Masuda, Zaiwu dying to Madden. Oh, you thought they were going to win for sure, but it was so close the whole time. And again, more pressure comes down the ramp from the CT side. And this is how people are fighting these days, all the way down, making sure you can't get into these spots where you line up grenades and put down the spams up here. And I think at this point, uh, Vitality have met their quota. They've done lots of damage and got a kill. Timing. Oh. Oh, not against Zywu. <laughs> not against Zywu. Did he see a shadow? I'm not sure, but Jeez. something gave the game away there. Uh, Nate goes through the window. Five versus three now. Vitality threatening to get a solid score on their CT side of Vertigo. Maybe the best chances to win this series have come and gone for FBX, but time will tell. So we finally traded 16 for six now. Hot in this game. Zen going for the reload. Emmy trying to cover. Nothing crazy happening just yet. Smokes up, but for how long? Zen with his knife out. Again, they just keep getting caught. Repositioning. Putting them in worse situations, FPX. Like Seiko on the B bomb site. Thought he had more space than he did, and the same thing happens here over towards A. Mm -hmm. But this time they don't convert, despite that. Two times the round for Vitality. I was looking very comfortable. You know, Ecos are not uh, on the A ramp. And this is the thing, I think, the way that the, the meta has been developing, where there are less spams through smokes and the diffuses, because CTs have started to try to fight Ts down the ramp so that they don't get into post-plant situations that are like 4v4 where anyone can dive the plant, which I think does a favor to the meta because it's obviously annoying to watch for everybody and probably even worse to play when people are just diving and, and diffusing in smokes. Um, but this may, means that the T's now have to fight harder for a ramp control. And right now Vitality are winning those duels most of the time. popped up, it would have been done a bit more. The chain of grenades continues from Vitality, bit by bit. Fourth player making their way over towards eight. It's been no presence really from FPX anywhere across the map. Looking to storm A with five players. Will there be a flashbang? That's a great way to start things off. Continuation spray from Maiden and they collapse from either side. Shock's now trying to reposition. Can't fire off another one, leaving Kyojin one versus three. Rotating in from the B bomb site. Now, there's a lack of money for Zaiwu and Misuta. If Kyojin loses this rifle, then that will be uh, quite the situation or quite the opportunity for Fun Plus Phoenix to try and build something on this T side. I can see Kyojin moving away now, but um, there will still be prob trouble. Well, he could drop two, I suppose. Quite a boring life here. As a B-side player, some games. Get one or two B-side hits on, uh, on Vertigo, the rest go towards A. And the rest of the game plan is pretending you're going to hit B more often. But uh, here, yeah, th this, is the, this is the obvious power of actually getting into this corner sandbag position on the ramp, getting this control, being able to throw all of your execute smokes, being able to peek short freely, this kind of thing. Allowing for the crush to come in is, is good. I like, I mean, overall the strategy was cool because they didn't just go for a full execute. They just decided to pinch it uh, with uh, with a very high tempo together on the short shelf and, and a ramp a lot. It's kind of refreshing to see that. You don't see that that often. But in, instantly we go into the two op adjustments. They go from the mini boss to the final boss. as if FBX try to establish on A-Ramp again. Oh, ooh. Oof. Saibu has a lot of rifle support. They try to target him with the numbers. 
Vitality might just be ready for it, as we can see. You see the swing as well, and the trade frags if necessary, but they're not. 5v2, falling back as they reload now. He finds two Zen. He's made the round competitive, carrying the bomb. They didn't have the angle to see it necessarily on the radar. Yeah, they actually can't afford these losses. But more than that, it looks like the round is possible now for Zen. The second op is not something they, they maybe expect. I don't know if Masood has made noise with this already. Apex with a really tight angle. It's almost on the job there. There's the bomb spotted once again. Quick bomb plant being made. Apex may have just done enough. Trying to escape both low now. Stiko 1v3 with the AWP. Spots the elevation. I can't see him doing this one. Hold on a second though. That's the flank eliminated. We've got a rotation now as the uh, smoke is baited. Another one flying in. Oh, oh my God, he's got cover as he's well. For it. Way, but did you see him? Look, he, he realizes what could be happening here. Oh, oh he just can't get around the corner in time. He was aware that he understood what was, could be possible. Had looked at Apex's direction, didn't see anything. Again, the margins come through for Vitality. Great, that you got to give credit to air, th there to Apex. I think a lot of players would have said, oh, I'm just going to keep walking out. Hopefully he makes a huge mistake. But Apex knows that this round is about to get away from them if he doesn't try to spam through it and catch Deco. And Deco's so low, he can't even survive one bullet. Six HP almost pulls out the 1v3. A really nice attempt. Very fortunate there for Vitality. That could have been six to nine here. And uh, Vitality also just indulged in the two-op setup, now can only afford one. Wouldn't have been able to afford any if they lost that round. That could have been a difference maker right there. But it, actually, just to pair with that, a great push on that last round. That aggressive CT setup, and Kyoto's doing work now. So much ADR between him and Apex already. Yeah, really coming into their own in this final map of the series. Well then, Farley's patience has paid off in a three versus two. Apex has lost the A bomb site, and that means Vitality will start to push from B. Seen that push before. Now there is time for FPX, and there are sound cues for them as well. Vitality what? getting some upgrades. Seeko's walking back towards B. They're leaving the site. CTs are guessing, holding for flanks. It's been one late round B. It's not enough info to make a call for sure, but. This is, uh, you know, four blind mice. Yeah, Stiko, he's, his read of the game has been uh, pretty nasty from round to round. And again, he just heard them picking up the weapons and so on. He knows they went deep enough to see that no one was towards the B site. Hence, they go A. Hence, FPX go B. So we've got a two versus two situation. Vitality here already. The suits are looking for something. Stiko, oh. <laughs> I thought he was going off the side there, but of course there is a rail. Suter and Shocks now. They have a kit and one flash. Both rifles in hand. Stick and Farley line wait. AWP is out. And that clock is ticking. Shocks has to be the one to defuse the bomb. There's the flash, but Farley can re-aggress quite easily. They're lining up for him. He just has to stay alive for a second. Shocks have a tight shot, but where is... Stiko just needs to wait until it's too late. The crab walk is here to kill for shocks, but there's no time to defuse the bomb. And the last round of the first half will go the way of Fun plus Phoenix. Six to the nine of Vitality, all to play for, especially with the pistol round. That comes after the break.
Well then, I don't know what to expect in this series. I don't know how strong a position Vitality might be in. So many questions to be answered in this half. And again, the pistol's key because it could be 9-9, it could be 12-6. Those are very common score lines after the first three rounds with a score such as this. What are your expectations? Yeah, this is. Uh, I understand where you're coming from, just because FPX could have won. Well, the, they could, it feels like they could have. You know, both teams could. I, I feel like they were the almost a better team in those first two maps. Vitality by the end of it changes the story a bit. They've woken up. Now they look stronger than ever, and I was not having a bad map here. So I don't know. Does this only get worse? Look at the adjustments. Oh my God! Pistol kills are worth their weight in gold. You know, one, let alone three. Yeah. Right. Vitality looking very good for this pistol. <coughs> oh, he's just feeling too sharp right now, man. I know. The, the juices are flowing. That's the problem with the with the kills. Yeah, there's so many eco kills, but it's still sharpening that tool. And what a tool he is in a positive fashion. In a positive fashion. <laughs> yeah. He's an instrument of death. Right. 21 for 9. Yeah, he's the whole shed. He knows how to do everything. That is That is crazy. The adjustments are just beautiful. Third player has no idea, but the fourth, no excuse. The round, and I think in the other halves, we saw the losing team win the pistol, make it more competitive, but now the winning team wins the pistol. And this is where you start making heinous buying decisions. I need to see some more steam from Fun Plus Phoenix, mm. because you know, two halves can be very different, but it does feel like Vitality are much stronger now. And again, Zai has just been waiting to power up in this last map of the series. Maybe some figuring out to do on some of the other maps we've seen today, but right now Vertigo has them with a good look. Vitality. Yeah, he's kicked in. Starting to rotate away from the A-bomb site. Of course, there are plenty of sound cues for the CT side. Yeah, you can't really running rotate, which is interesting. The CTs are respecting that it might be some kind of a bait up until this point. Zen gets a kill on the other side of the map. The CTs have made their way over, but they're in rotator spots, and Shox is here to cause problems at mid. Oh, my Ooh. God, that flick from Emmy again with the impact frags. Maiden now 1v2. He's got to land his kill quickly before they collapse on him. They will do exactly that. Man, a really nice shot from Emmy, but to no avail. Vitality win the consecutive, and we are looking at that 12-6 scoreline for FGX to really start the half, which is not good for in, them. In other situations, three kills is great, but in this situation, they, they needed the round, and there is this weird expectation these days that you can actually win the round with just Eagles on the CT side of, of certain maps, and th since they don't get it, the, you know, the lead becomes five. Another pistol round ensues. Three deagles in total here for FBX. They'll run it back. That MAC-10 has been such a problem for Fun Plus Phoenix. Shox was instrumental with it on Inferno, and it rears its ugly head once again, this time in the hands of Apex. Not as effective on this occasion, but does not pose much of a threat at present. They've got him zoned a little bit. Okay, Kyoji's going to see this. He's aware of both kills, though. And Emmy alone with the Deagle bomb. Bomb is left underneath, it looks like. Chance to fight. Two coming for him. Oh, it's a, it's a dummy gun, though. All the bullets are gone. And there is that scoreline. This is where the game really begins. Vitality in a very strong position. If they win the first buy rounds. Then that's FPX straight back to Eco. So just to give you an idea of how bad a situation Fun Plus Phoenix are in, the implications of losing this round are severe. Yeah, it can be understated. I mean, the mental effect too of like we of thinking we already lost, or the pressure that's on them to just win this, just for just to get on the hike, the long hike back to 16 is is yeah. it, it can be enough to break most men. Yeah, losing the both pistols will have to be done the hard way. So I'll be ready to frag as well. Vitality being careful. Not wanting to squander this opportunity. And again, it is Zaiwu. 23 kills now. Good chance for a 30 bomb. So many targets, though, down the ramp. And Emmy will be 
finding Kyojin. That's a huge frag. 4v4 as Vitality continue to poke and prod. AKs versus silenced M4s. That is not ideal for Fun Plus Phoenix. So they will need an exceptional exceptional performance. He's still up there. Was he spotted? I wonder. Oh. Emmy's got to be real careful here. Landing a headshot. 45 seconds on the clock. No one towards B or mid for Vitality. The whole squad is here. Still with two Molotovs. Just one smoke grenade for a potential bomb plant. And those can be problematic on B on A on the A bomb sites, excuse me. See Zen make his way over now. Six players around A. Seiko alone on B. Farley moving back a little bit, but there's a trade from shot. Masuta now finds him. He's still on the boxes and the AKs just frag out on the A bomb site. The worst is happening for Fun Plus Phoenix. I don't know that they recover from this. I think he pushed a bit too early into the short shelf before his teammate got comfy in the site. And of course, you know, any of those one duels could have could have brought it back, but None come this time. Stiko 1v2. He's been pretty smart in the clutch, but so a Vitality. And they're split up in good positions. He's got an idea of where they might be. Will the trade come through? Won't even need it. Shock's only showing half his face. Can't be targeted. 13 to 6. And it's potentially back to pistols here for FPX unless they want to go for the MP9 circus. I don't know. Are they going to try it? Half investment comes out. With the form that Vitality have been of late, you can see how much it means to Apex here. Right. Every round so far. And, it, and this is a round they need to build statistics on. This is, mm -hmm. um, uh, sorry, a map. This is uh, a map they need to build statistics on and one that they didn't have many recorded maps of late. So this is pretty big for them. I think they need this. Fun Plus Phoenix lost a stressful series yesterday and um, they're on the cusp of doing the same today. Big opportunities on that second map, but again, so many narrow victories for Vitality. It's rare you see so many go in favor of one team, and that was just for them to stay alive, and they've done more than that here. Moving towards a 14th round now. Four men on the ramp for Vitality. Oh, we're gonna get maybe this potential eco ace, anti-eco ace here for Zai, who's already got four. Just been cleaning up so damn hard. Kyojin will find a little at the end. 14 to 6, and it, yeah, it's unfortunately the writing on the wall s made it seem like after the second pistol that Vitality were going to be, you know, e close to a very easy finish, and it feels like that's uh, starting to become a reality. Two, two ops is the adjustment here for FPX, a final stand after a half buy to defend against match point. Stiko and Farley, I don't know if they're splitting up on sites. Looks like, yes, Stiko's going to take his talent over to B. Vitality will continue to work the map in the A default. Early aggression towards A. And now we wait for the utility. Oh dear. Nowhere to stand, nowhere to hide, nowhere to run for. Fun plus Phoenix backs up to the wall just like Maiden. Trying to make a play here, but he gets trade fragged and it goes from bad to worse here for Fun plus Phoenix. AWP deleted, man advantage retained by Vitality. See the bomb not committed to the A bomb site just yet, but it's on the way to join Zaiwu in the hands of Kyojin. Shock's having a look elsewhere, seeing what's going on. Showing some presence towards the B bomb site. He is the Mac 10 man, but with an AK on this occasion, i.e., he's the guy going to see what's what. They've got time to play with Vitality, a minute on the clock here, and they would indeed um, weaken the defenses towards the A bomb site. Somehow it's been almost a more impactful T side than it was CT. Uh, Vita for Zaiwu looking for 30 at this point. Taking the ball by the horns. And by the balls. What did you do with those? <laughs> just, just the saying. There's a chance here for a freebie for Stiko if they want to walk in. But okay, we got a generator smoke potentially here to come in. The flash comes out. And yeah, okay, there is an open line. They look for it. Stiko even gets some further damage in. The smoke comes in late. There's a gap on the left side. Zywa can go back into this perfect post plan position. He leaves the bomb to get threatened, and they finally actually come through with the retake. Great damage from Stiko. He made that US keep USP kill possible by putting the first shot in through double. And so they live another day. Yeah, but 
a uh, man. This is it's a long road back. It really is. Yeah. It really is. Especially with. I mean, I've done it before. We both wrote them off in the first half of that's us too. True. You're right. I, I think they're in a worse. It, well, they are in a worse situation now. It's a little bit worse. Yeah. But it is a little bit less clear who's better on the map. At, well, now it's not. I don't know. We're looking for something here. Yeah. They have to show us something. They have half the score of their opponent, and their opponent's two rounds away from the match. I, I just don't get it. I'm watching Zaiwu, and these killers just coming so easily, like yeah. everywhere. It's just uh, he thinks he's had uh, three or four multi-frag rounds in a row. 29 kills now for Zaiwu. Initial exchange, spray on the ramp, and Emmy, he just has nowhere to stand. That's the trouble, the meta leans this way, but the, the thing is that uh, uh, FPX are doing a worse job of fighting back through the ramp in their defaults, mm -hmm. and Vitality are showing them the value of, of spamming down these positions more thoroughly. They're way more targeted to Emmy in that same spot. Yeah. Oh, man. Vitality maybe with more depth. This is to compromise Deco's specific position. So, oh, they, they see him, but he gets away in time and shocks. He's right there on the other side. Okay, I think I think we know who the better team is on Vertigo. Vitality's uh, depth of knowledge just seems to go a lot deeper than FPX at the moment. So Vertigo may be the, the master stroke, the ace in the hole for Vitality. After a very difficult game, they head towards match point. Folds. Oh, dear. Nothing going away of FPX now. It's a shame a great series ends this way for FPX, but again, if you're a, f a fan of Vitality, this mm. is fantastic. You want to see strength from them, they need to turn their results around. Zywe was bragging out again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's for one way or another, it uh, creates an interesting narrative. And for this, for Vitality, the, you know, the wider the score, the, the discrepancy, the more interesting it is for their next match. More data for them in the tournament. And of course, high expectations for them here at the EURMR. The same can be said for FBX coming into the event with so many big wins versus Big versus G2. Close loss versus Nip yesterday. Looks like they literally could have beaten Vitality today if a few more things went their way. So they can kind of hang their heads high. But at the same time, I'm sure they'll be disappointed. Emmy dies again. Lots in doing what he can, but oh, can he get, f oh my god, okay, maybe it's not over just yet. The Desert Eagle shot, the peaks are perfect for Zen, they go into it, crosshair, the bomb's lost as well, Shock's here to trade one versus four, made three. A lot happening, but again, even if they win this round, it's just the one round and they've got so many more to collect. There's a full buy in the hole if Vitality lose this. So it's not really even breathing space for FPX. They're on life support. Gasping for air. Uh, that was nice. The way Zen, he julienned those angles at mid. Like a slap chop. I have a slap chop. <laughs> you do? My friend bought it for me for my birthday. One it's slap salad. It's a good friend. 25 seconds on the clock. Shocks could just get some more kills here. Farley and Maiden, the last two players, have zero dollars combined. So they have to stay alive here. Shocks could even go for the fake plant. <laughs> Farley will pick up the AK-47. Two players survive for Fun Plus Phoenix. They need seven more rounds in a row. And the full buy comes through for Vitality. The buy will likely be superior. Emmy and Zen have got about 3,200 apiece. Oof. Nice highlight in a very difficult game. Yeah, and for, yeah, there's no strategic depth to it. Just a, a great show of mechanical ability there for Zen to buy him a little lifeline. They throw, they, he throws it his team a floaty, but the ocean is vast. Not today. Maybe not today is the story on Vertigo for Fun Plus Phoenix. If this is the end, there'll be a lot for them to learn and come back stronger. Vitality, just able to hold on on Inferno. This is the epitome of Vertigo right here. That is Verticality 101. This like duel. watching uh, Russian TikTok on someone standing on the end of a building. Stiko with, I'm going to assume, a great shot. Through, through a wall into a head. Emmy up here on the short shelf. He's lived. 
into the mid round now officially, which is great. And oh, oh no way! Oh my god! That's how we touch on thirty. Zaiwu jumping up and down with his hand over his face. Is there no mercy? Maybe there is. Yeah, I guess there is a god. I suppose there is. Well then. Fun plus Phoenix make it to nine. There's no bomb plant for Vitality and they start to be a little short on money. They could consider forcing something up here depending on how many buys they calculate they'll have in this half should they lose every round. Otherwise they can go for a half buy. That turned around quickly. But um, how long until we start to believe? 13 rounds? <laughs> I'm starting to feel it a bit, but yeah, it might be a bit too soon. They get checking a corpse they for a pulse. Talk. I think we're still in the checking a corpse for a pulse mode. Yes, I think that's fair. That's totally reasonable. But maybe momentum in their favor will certainly help. Emmy's had some rounds to learn where not to stand, which is quite a few places on the ramp. <laughs> yeah. So there's always the opportunity that he could uh, change his approach in the buy rounds to come if they get that far. There's no guarantee they win this round. I think he recognizes at least the importance of like trying to maintain some of this presence down the ramp. But yeah, Vitality obviously showing their experience. Been very good at stopping them here, and they win another round in this position. A lot of thought given to this potentially eco round. It's converted. That's potentially being converted now. I, I don't know if there's, there's no armor on shocks. That gun should maybe change hands. He did throw it on the floor, so there was some discussion. But he has ended up with it again. And the walk back is huge. It's the correct mid round, of course, from what we see on the mini map. Stiko holding flank from the spawn, and he'll adjust his. Oh no, he misses oh that duel. Oh my god. Takes one early. If he waited, he could have stalked three players. Two CTs now running up. Some damage can make, make a difference, an impact. Maiden needs two, and he gets exactly what he's looking for. Kyojin with 16 HP. They're really just holding on by the bare minimum fun plus Phoenix at the moment. Oh. The margin's going their way late on on Vertigo. But even in the, even in the eco round from Vitality, they look superior. It's scary, especially this A ramp, because this is always going to be a threat that they have to deal with, and there's not really much room to deal with it any other way. You can't just say, I'm going to push B this round, because on Vertigo, it's there's a, there's a million ways to catch a flank, so it's a bit scary to say you're going to go all the way through. They might want to throw that in every once in a while. So we'll see if Vitality go back to the A ramp and they fight for it, they get control of it, it's going to be scary. And me again fighting, and I, I think he recognizes it's important to be down here. He sees one in the corner, he ends up getting a kill with the assistance of Madden, actually. Masuda trades one, knows one's in the back, takes Madden down as well. And now they get some positional compensation quick up the short shell. Farley's going to make his position known with this smoke grenade. Let's try to slow things down, but again, this is the critical territory for the T's to get to. And Vitality just seem more experienced here, despite what the official records show. Of course, it doesn't include all the scrims and work they've been doing offline, and we can see that. The attention to detail, the angles, the multi-peaks, the abuse of FPX towards the A-bomb site, especially Emmy. Still have two Molotovs, Vitality. See more being deployed now as they look to compromise the positions for FPX. That smoke may not be respected, we'll have to see. So with some pre-fire in the meantime, 40 seconds on the clock and Vitality starting to become light on grenades, they are pushing in as well and they're just winning the jewels. Four versus two, now it's down to Farley. He's got so much to work to, uh, to do here. Smoke is up, but that actually uh, mimics the trade frag situation. It gives him a chance, but Masuta will take that away. 16 to 10, Vitality destroy Fun Plus Phoenix on Vertigo. That was a clinic. Very nice at the end. I, and I really like that we have that round because it was starting to putter out and it felt like FBX were getting back into it. But then Vitality showed us they were. They were the better team this map. And overall in the series, there are a lot of great spots there for FBX for sure. But on, on Vertigo, it didn't feel like they had a chance. Yeah, it looks like they need more experience and Vitality simply had more depth. So I think once it came down to that third map, the better team most certainly won. So congratulations to Vitality. And I'm not even sad to see, um, to lose some points on that one because it was a really good game. And, you know, we can see that Vitality were the better team. Seeing the death think I'm just diffusing before I throw to them to get wrecked. <laughs> but uh, 
There we go. That was a really solid play from Vitality. And um, that is enough from us for now. Over to a possibly very happy Freya. <laughs> a very happy Freya.